Is it possible? I mean, is it even conceivable that somehow the carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, nitrous oxides were broken down at the atomic level and transmuted into oxygen? I don't know. I don't know, and I know there's a lot of really smart people who are right now trying to figure out what the fuck this means. Wow. Now, how is this hooked up to the generators? You've got an intake of fresh air, and then it's recycling. It's taking the stuff that would be exhausted. You've got a pre-ionization chamber where the air is drawn in, just ambient air is drawn into this chamber, and it's subjected to infrared light at a roughly 100 microns. It pre-excites the electrons in the atoms coming in. It is then fed into what is called, we, we're calling the bubbler. And this is the, the, the instrument where billions of microscopic bubbles are created. Where I was describing earlier is a series of concentric spheres and rings that set up this vortex, this whirling vortex in opposite from clockwise to counterclockwise. And what I'm interested in is getting a lot of minds on this because I think the more brains we've got on this, we're gonna be, sooner we're gonna be able to figure out what the hell is going on here.